Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, November 4th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who will be back tomorrow from his uh, slightly extended vacation. And welcome to the Bucket of Spilled Paint show. I'm your tour guide, Bill Murray. First, we'll start off talking about fog. That's not something we really thought we were going to be talking about. Very moist air mass across Alabama. Uh, skies cleared quickly uh, late yesterday afternoon, uh, revealing a very beautiful hunter's full moon. And um, then the fog rolled in. Uh, some of the pictures from North Alabama from high school football games were just absolutely funny, probably even ESPN worthy. Um, this is um, the center weather. Um, uh, the air traffic controller folks use this. Uh, and, and it's a weather depiction chart. It shows um, what's going on in the atmosphere for pilots. The magenta colors are bad. Uh, those are low instrument flight rules. Those would be um, ceilings um, of less than 500 feet and visibilities of less than a mile. You get into instrument flight rules with the uh, red locations, and um, you're between 500 and 1,000 feet and uh, one in three miles. Jasper down to half mile this morning. Haleyville down to a ceiling of 200 feet. Uh, Coleman down to one and a quarter miles, Gadsden down to a half mile, northeast Alabama where it's really socked in, Fort Payne quarter mile with a hundred foot, vis or 100 foot um, ceiling, and Scottsboro a quarter mile with a hundred foot ceiling as well. That fog is going to slowly burn off this morning. Dense fog advisories remain in effect for several counties across north and central Alabama uh, this morning. Now we are also dealing with a, a dying uh, cluster of thunderstorms associated with a trough of low pressure. Uh, that sort of turned to the southeast as we expected during the overnight hours and weakened as it went. And uh, here's what it's, uh, what's left of it at 515 this morning moving across south central Alabama, triggering a few showers to the north as it swings by. That's a, a little Vort Max there uh, passing on through. Now let's go to the Bucket of Spilled Paint show. Here's where we go up to about 18,000 feet and look. And right there over the southeast you can see that little trough uh, sort of being forced into us because this ridging over Texas and the Arklatex back in New Mexico is beginning to flex its muscle. And as it does, uh, it turned our winds uh, in the mid-levels of the atmosphere back to the northwest overnight, pushed that cluster of storms onto the southeast. And uh, looking uh, at noon today on the GFS, this is the overnight run, the 060. Run. You see some scattered showers across Alabama. That warm, moist air mass not going anywhere today. Uh, it'll be acted upon by the daytime heating again and uh, the presence of boundaries from last night's activities. And we'll see more showers uh, form during the day today. But I think they'll be widely scattered and not too heavy, not expecting any severe thunderstorms or any problems uh, like that. But as we move forward to uh, 7 p.m. this evening, uh, ridging beginning to uh, flex its muscle over the southeast. The showers beginning to dry up a little bit. And as we move toward uh, midnight, late night tonight into early Sunday morning, you can see the showers are gone. Now, the folks out in uh, College Station uh, for the Auburn-Texas A&M game today looks like uh, absolutely dry conditions. It's going to be hot, though. Temperatures at kickoff starting off around 80 degrees, rising into the lower middle 80s as we move through that contest um, during the early afternoon hours. Here uh, locally, UAB playing at 2 o'clock, and um, you can expect um, pretty decent conditions, I think, at Legion Field. I think uh, the chance of a, an isolated shower is pretty low. Folks heading to Tuscaloosa for the Alabama-LSU game. Um, there could be another surge of a few rogue showers, but I think they'd be light and rather isolated. Um, the GFS, uh, or the HRRR here, showing a, a shower right over Bryant-Denny Stadium uh, there around uh, 7 o'clock tonight, right around kickoff. So uh, be prepared for that. Of course, daylight savings time ends tonight. You get an extra hour of sleep before church tomorrow morning. I know everyone will rejoice at that. Moving through time, here's the GFS uh, for Sunday afternoon. You can see that ridging uh, over the uh, southwestern Gulf of Mexico and over um, southern Texas and Mexico beginning to flex its muscles. Uh, Alabama getting into more of a zonal flow 
and uh, that warm, moist air mass stays in place. And that means the temperature is still in the 80s for Sunday and Monday. But by Tuesday, we'll be tracking a cold front moving toward Alabama. Uh, big high pressure system over the middle of the country. And as it does, as that cold front moves into Alabama, we'll see some showers and thunderstorms. Not expecting any severe weather, even though, again, we'll still have a warm, moist air mass in place. There will be instability, but the wind shear values don't look like they're uh, out of control. So I think we'll get through that without any major problems. That front pushes onto the Gulf Coast uh, by Wednesday night. Now, it'll be much cooler behind this front and the earlier model runs and the European still believe that we'll have another good round of rain, probably um, uh, most likely late Tuesday night into Wednesday before that front pushes through, and then you will notice the change to much cooler. Here's the uh, GFS for Thursday, late Thursday night into Friday. You can see high pressure beginning to build into Alabama. And our next rainmaker uh, comes on Saturday night, so not much time between the systems, but at least we'll have a nice cool day on Friday, another nice cool day for most of the day on Saturday before another rainmaker moves in, brings a chance of uh, showers to us uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Moving out to the end of the period, looking at Monday, November 20th, this will be on the, the Sunday night preceding another trough. And if you went back and looked at all the model uh, output between then and there, you'd see more troughs over the eastern United States. And that would lead us to uh, think just from pattern recognition that we would see cooler temperatures over the eastern United States and here in Alabama. And that is the case. You can see our warmth is relatively short-lived. It's out of here by Tuesday. That'll be our last warm day. Wednesday, sort of a transition day. And then we're in the 50s and 60s for highs for the next 10 days or so after that with lows uh, in the upper 30s to lower and middle 40s. So um, a little bit cooler than we should be for this time of year, but we'll take it. And uh, that's our Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, November 4th. Thanks for letting me sit in with you for the last uh, three weekend editions. I know you'll be glad to have Brian back tomorrow. But until the next time we get together, uh, keep looking to the sky. KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.